Hey, Mike Healy here, and I have a social media tip for you on how to properly share your replicated website with people uh, so that you get credit for it because a lot of people are sharing these links out there and they're not defaulting to their personal website. So I'm going to make a video. I'm going to go to the screen here. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that so that it goes to your website when you share information and articles. So let's check it out. All right, so we got our website up and we want to share some information on here, but I'm going to show you how to do it properly so that uh, it, you get the best bang for your buck. Let's say I wanted to go to uh, somebody just new uh, that I wanted to introduce to ketones or ketosis and they've never heard of it or anything like that. One of the best things you can do is go find some of these articles on here and obviously prove it's done a great job of putting content out there. But let's go to this one, the very first basic one, the Keto Basics. Now I want to share this article um, with people. Okay. Now you'll notice here that if I click and copy this link, uh, just by doing that, that, uh, and I have something pre-made on a uh, word document that, uh, what'll happen is when I paste this, it comes up to look just like this, right? So this right here would not default to my website. Now what you want to do to make this so that it does default to your website is simply this. You copy and paste that link, and then right after the forward slash forward slash, you put in your username. Mine is Healy. Then the dot, then proveitnow.com. Okay? So what happens here is this part right here will now be the one that comes up. So let me show you how this looks. Now what I'm going to do is I typically will either, you know, make a little draft in a Word document, or I'll do it on, uh, uh, you know, like a uh, email, and I'll, I'll, put it, I'll set it up like that. So let's go to Facebook real quick. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my uh, business page because I want to get people to check out my Mike Healy business page. And then I'll just go right here where I'm going to put something and I'm going to paste that. Well, what's going to happen is it's going to pre-populate this article right here on there. It's exactly as I wanted it. And uh, it's, it's ready to go. But more importantly, it's got my username in there. Now what I'll do is, uh, you know how to do this, you're going to publish it just like you would normally make a Facebook post. And there it is. So this is now live. Now the cool part is, is if somebody either clicks here or reads this article, they click here on the article. The key is that when they click on it, it's going to go and you'll notice it right up here. It says contact Mike and Stacy Healy. So this article went straight to this article that I was trying to do. But more importantly, it had my username attached to it when it went on there. Don't share the link unless you uh, want to. Uh, if you're going to share a link, make sure you do it this route that you, you just take and you, uh, you put, uh, where am I going there? You put this right here first, your username, then the period, then proveitnow.com, and whatever other articles you want to share, that way it defaults to you. Hope that tip helped.